animal abuse case that changed the law here in Massachusetts. The man convicted of torturing Puppy Doe has been sentenced. WBZ's Bill Shields is live tonight in Dedham with that sentence. Bill? Eight years in prison for this guy who tortured Puppy Doe has been convicted on 12 counts, but some animal rights advocates say eight years isn't enough. Your Honor, this defendant's conduct is unprecedented. Unprecedented. The Commonwealth could find no case of someone having done something similar. And Judge Beverly Canoni seemed to agree. Court sentences you to be in prison. So did a jury finding Radislaw Zerkowski guilty on 12 counts of animal cruelty. He tortured this little dog so badly, her fur was found on the walls. The jurors could have inferred that based on the genetic material and the hairs high up on the walls, that those walls were the blunt force trauma that caused some of this dog's injuries. Puppy Doe was in such bad shape, she had to be euthanized. But Zerkowski's attorney said it was not his doing. This conduct that Mr. Zerkowski was found guilty of, it's just a complete aberration of anything that we know about it. Still, Judge Canoni sentenced him to a minimum of eight years in prison. Not more than five years, not less but some than animal rights activists say that wasn't enough. It was a horrific case, and it really needs to set a precedent. This is, it's time. It's time to set the precedent. And the Animal Rescue League? I've been doing this for be my 43, 40, uh, 43 years I've been at the Animal Rescue League, and, and uh, I know of cases that we weren't able to solve. So this is an amazing case. To... No, you don't forget a monster who does that to a, to a baby. Zerkowski is already serving time in prison for larceny, for stealing from an elderly woman he was supposed to be taking care of. Now... He'll add eight years to that. Reporting live in Dedham on Bill Shields, WBZ News. Uh, crack